Hey guys, so for today's video, I thought I would share with you five easy ways to keep your kids learning at home. And what I mean by that is um, easy ways for days when you're feeling, for when you don't really have enough time for like maybe if you've got a lot of work to do at home or a lot of housework to do around the house or really just feeling rather flat and don't have much energy or sort of patience or much to give your kids on, on any particular day. I feel like as parents, we sort of all have those days so I thought that I would make a list of some ways that kids can keep learning at home in sort of easy and effortless ways. So my number one um, easy way to keep kids learning at home um, is going to have to be outsourcing. And one great way to outsource education is this website called OutSchool. OutSchool is really popular in the homeschool community. A lot of our homeschool friends use it regularly and we've used it a couple of times now and the kids have done some great classes on it which has been so much fun. Today Evan and Otto are doing an OutSchool Flex class on um, the elements of the periodic table. Without school, you can choose between flex classes, which can be done at any time when you have time, or you can participate in live classes, which are a great way for kids to not only get involved in a great topic they love, but there is also a really fun social element with a live video chat between class members and the teacher. It's absolutely fantastic. And there are so many topics to choose classes on. A lot of my homeschool friends swear by out school, but it's not just for homeschoolers. It's a great way for any child to get a different perspective and learn something they may not have otherwise learned at home or school. Thanks so much to OutSchool for sponsoring this video. You can use the link in the description if you wanna try OutSchool with a $20 discount on any class you choose. A lot of classes are around $20, give or take. So you can basically go try a class for free, which will get you hooked. Uh, Dimitri Mendeleev is shown here, and he is considered to be the father of the periodic table. Carbon symbol is just the letter C, and its atomic number is 6. So graphite is soft and black, diamond is hard and clear, and Buckminster Fullerene um, are little spheres or soccer ball, soccer ball shaped uh, things of carbon that are so small you can't see them. Yep, you can look at the periodic table. <laughs> Have you guys been enjoying your out school class? Yeah. Um, so you guys are gonna do this class every week for six weeks. Does that sound what? good? Is that, yes. Is that thirty-six elements, or is there more than six in some? I'm not sure. Every lesson will be made up differently. Mm -hmm. Does that sound good, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so second on the list is books. Books are so fabulous and they're such an underrated learning tool. Whether that's novels, picture books, or non-fiction books, we absolutely rely on books to support our kids in their learning. You can read with your kids or they can just read them on their own, like flip through the pages um, and have a look at the pictures if they can't actually read yet. Either way is great and both are such an easy way to learn and to learn enjoyably. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, nine what? Bullets. Yeah, that's right. And there's eight pots. Teapots, yeah. You're reading a book about the alphabet, aren't you, pal? Mm -hmm. T is for caterpillar. And C is also for car. Yeah, and cat. Mm -hmm. One hundred stars. One hundred stars. You're reading a periodic table book, Otto. Yeah. And you learnt a bit about the periodic table today in your art school class, didn't you? Yeah. What elements did you learn about? Um, the elements of life. What were they? Hydrogen, carbon. Nitrogen, oxygen, uh, phosphorus, phosphorus, sulfur. Oh wow! Yeah. Were they all those ones? And that one. Oh, and this one. Yeah, just not that green one. 
Yeah, okay. Not selenium. Is that what that is? Yeah. Do you know how to get selenium in your diet? Um, no, but I think it's all that has, that Brazil nuts have in it. Yeah. Do you like Brazil nuts? Yeah. Yeah. And spinach has it in it too. Does it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Number three is learning through play. A lot of people don't realize how beneficial simply playing is for children's development and learning. A lot of people also don't realize that it is still beneficial past the age of five. Playing isn't just for toddlers and babies. All my kids love playing and they benefit from it all day, every day. We love open-ended toys for the kids as they're so wonderful for imagination and creativity, but there are also some really great toys out there that encourage more traditional learning. We can move on to another. We can try another one. Now let's try mine. <laughs> Look, Otto's Ooh. drawing a sum. <laughs> <laughs> what did you make? Fruit salad. Fruit salad, oh yum. Number four is board games. A lot of board games involve a lot of reading, maths, critical thinking skills, as well as teamwork and patience. And each game generally has its own theme. So there's usually even more that you can learn from each board game. Not to mention they're just a lot of fun as well. What color are you guys going to be? You're going to be blue. What color are you going to be, Rufus? We need all of them. We need what, what all of the All of the unicorns. What color are you going to be, Hank? Yellow. The yellow one? One, two, three. Who's going to go next? Me. You got two. Go on two. One. Oh, no, no, you can't get that. Why would you go? One. One. Yeah, one. One. <laughs> and now I have to roll. Oh, cake. <laughs> yes, I have to go to the cake one. Lucky last, number five is conversation. Now this one might not make sense to some people. Conversation is a part of everyday life, but I feel like it's pretty underrated. Even having a five or 10 minute chat about something with your kids, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or as a group can be really beneficial. I like talking to my kids about all sorts of things, including the weather, insects and animals, how things are made, how things were discovered, so on and so forth. There is just so much you can chat to your kids about. So yeah, having a conversation is not only a great way of learning, but also a wonderful way to connect and share some time together. So there you have it guys, five easy ways to keep your kids learning at home. Um, that's for all of you guys who homeschool or who are just homeschooling currently. And even for everyone who has their kids in school, but still wants to um, keep stimulating learning while the kids are at home with them. I know a lot of people like to do more structured learning. So like worksheets and projects and stuff like that. And we like to do that as well. But there are days where it just doesn't really work out and we have a really relaxed day. And I think those days are really important as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video of five um, easy ways to keep your kids learning at home. You guys probably do most of these things with your kids every day, but I think it's important to know that these things are really good for kids learning. Um, I guess a lot of people probably think that learning really is just pen to paper and that sort of thing. Um, but there are just so many ways to learn. Kids are learning all day, every day. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi Otto. Hi. We're, so we're doing our work and we just finished the laptop stuff. So we're doing our other work now. I finished that sheet. We still got to work uh, across the word line. 
and I'm doing this, which I don't know what it is, and this is called Cola Coca. <laughs> Do you have a cola coca on yours? Why is it not focusing? <laughs> How about I vlog your face? <laughs> Actually, no. Uh, this is a periodic table. I just finished this one. Cola coca, bam! Oh no, stop being silly in front of the vlog. And as you see, it's raining. Why are you talking about the rain? <laughs> It's raining and pouring, it's old me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you vlogging the <laughs> Hi. Otto. As you can see, the bed is by. Hey Otto, what are you doing? No. See yourself. Tell me. This is a random bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm just gonna get on with my work, and mommy has to put this in fast mode, so you can watch me us doing work and Otto laying on the ground doing silly stuff. Okay, I'm gonna. No, I'm There's no such thing as a rainy pencil. Uh, gotta see us. Oh, we've got to get to work now. Right? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we've got to get to work. Bye. Turn off now. Then we don't know. <laughs>